What's going on guys? Nick Hellman aka the Crypto Hitman here and this is a Patreon first video. That means this video will be going out to patreon.com slash learn crypto members first. I won't be giving specific buy areas and limit buys that we have on the books for various assets. Bitcoin, altcoins, Coinbase, Riot, Mara, MicroStrategy uh, because that is only for our Patreon members. But I do have to tell you that we are getting very close. Our patience is paying off across the board. We have sold some altcoins higher looking for buybacks cheaper. We have sold some stocks higher looking for buybacks cheaper. And what do you know? The market has rolled over. When the Bitcoin spot ETF was launched, we ran up to 49000 I said, if an approval happens, we'll get to 50000 and we will then consolidate and sell off. I was told, why so bearish? We only made it to 49 k guys. We also had a sell on the... Uh, uh, technometer which is Todd's Wyckoff indicators that was at 44,000 Bitcoin so a little early because the Bitcoin spot ETF did get approved and pushed us to 49 but again we are sitting here below 40,000 so not a bad sell from that indicator as well that we will be making public on trading view very soon anyways in my last Bitcoin video we showed you we saw bearish divergences off here We also had a sell on the the technometer and we told you a run up to 50k and a sell-off We didn't even make it there We have seen this massive sell-off Bitcoin did not hold the 200 moving average did not hold the 300 moving average Did not hold this uptrend line as you see here We got we bounced off of it and boom and did not hold this forty thousand dollar mark either forty thousand four eighty one I told you if these break away uh, we go down to our next objectives. Next objectives, this dotted line around $38,462. Also in the last video, I'm not a person who just gives you these lines and, oh, look at all these different ranges. No, we said these are important levels, but we are not buying, and I believe we are going to break through them and continue lower. So our next objective, we have a 50% buy limit around this level. If you want to know the exact levels, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. We have this uptrend line here as well. So why is that important? Well, we can look at the cross sector here. Depending on how long Bitcoin wants to meander or how fast it wants to drop. If it wants to drop overnight, you could be looking at a 36,300. If it wants to meander, the cross section, the confluence would be around this 38,450. That is important to keep in mind. And again, this green line, I have had this green line on here for a long time. I think dating back to here or on this drop here. I said if Bitcoin ever gets back to 33,300 level, that's where you close your eyes, you hold your breath, and you hit buy for the opportunity of a lifetime. This is a cycle low opportunity in my opinion. If we get down there, you should be buying with the Bitcoin spot ETF, the Bitcoin having incoming, an ETF, uh, Ethereum spot ETF coming, quantitative easing, presidential elections, and the list goes on and on. If we get down to 33300 you should go in your piggy bank, break it open, buy Bitcoin, and we'll be talking about some of our favorite ults if that level does ever occur. But I had to pop on here to let you know we're getting very close to the buy. Patience has paid off. Bitcoin has fallen. Sell the news, boys. Sell the news has fallen 18.71% already and is getting close to our first target level where we do have a limit down in this area for 50% of our Bitcoin. Talk briefly about some of these other ones. Arbitrum, we got wicked out here at 160, 168, 165 for profits. Of course, we continued higher. We are now approaching that level. We didn't. We gave up this 200 moving average. We are oversold. No bearish divergence yet. The 300 moving average is still down to 154. If Bitcoin drops, we will be looking to buy back Arbitrum cheaper than our last profit set trade. Ban. Sorry, guys. Got a little sniffly. We've had weird weather here uh, in St. Louis. We sold BAN for 13.68% profits on the day of the high, and we have had some patience. We broke down b b below this exponential line here, and it was a magnet to this uptrend line to have. You see when that uptrend line gave away, big red bar, big cascading effect on the price. We have these lines here. This was a bearish divergence. What it give you? A 10% rally. We then got another, or a bullish divergence, sorry. Then we meandered out. We didn't give a buy. Uh, we gave that idea, though, there. Another bullish divergence. I said, hey, guys, last bullish divergence we had, we got a 10% rally. What did we do off this bullish divergence? We had a quick 35% rally. It has given it up very quickly. Now, 
band is 30% down from our last profit sell with a couple bullish divergence wicks showing you that there is some life in this thing when things look favorable. We will be looking to buy back band cheaper than our last sell, obviously, because Jesus Christ, major drop. But we are still sitting here below the 200 moving average, below the 300 moving average, and no bullish divergence currently. If Bitcoin drops and give us a, gives us an entry there, band is on our radar for a couple of reasons. A, it's showing life on these bullish divergences. B, it was showing exponential growth before the, the Bitcoin ETF sell-off. And C, it's really hard not to want to get back involved when it's 30% lower. Because we can buy back the same number of tokens and we have a plethora of profits, plethora of cash for other opportunities, whether that's Bitcoin, other alts, or, you know, maybe cashing out a little bit of crypto to take your wife out on a nice vacation. BNB, we've been saying to have some patience. Last video is up here around $320. We're trying to have patience to pair BNB with cake and an LP to earn up to 35% APR. So far, BNB has hold this 200 moving average, but I suspect if Bitcoin gives us another little dip here, we will head towards this 300 moving average and we will be taking an entry probably close to these previous lows. That way we get our cheaper price on uh, BNB and we need uh, less capital to pair it with our current cake position to get that farming rewards that's our plan there folks cake as you can see 252 giving away this uptrend line below the 200 moving average below the 300 moving average very oversold though we are already currently in a position um, but very oversold if you're interested in cake somewhere in this level maybe 240 maybe 220 if bitcoin really plummets uh, but this is an interesting asset that's been on a big tear off the lows due to their new deflationary mechanisms and again we want to pair that with bnb uh, for the farming rewards up to 35% APR. I like that. I like having the upside pressure of both cake and BNB versus parent cake with like USDT because I do think there is upside left for both cake and BNB and I want to capitalize on that and capture that in this next bull market. In my opinion, farming now against stable coins, you're missing out on that upside if the bull market is truly here and coming like I believe because remember you're pegged that USDT is pegged at a dollar. So your impermanent loss, you're losing out on the upside potential. You want two assets that both have upside potential, one with a lower risk parameter, like a large cap like BNB, and one with a more higher risk parameter in the mid cap range. Those are the farms that I would be targeting. Coinbase, of course, we sold big gains here, bought back cheaper, sold again, bought back cheaper, sold again, bought back cheaper, and then we sold. We did get sidelined on this last major rally because we still had exposure to Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a plethora of other alts, as well as pre-sales, so we can't remain long on every aspect when it comes to crypto. But we have had patience not chasing here, telling you, hey, we have a gap here, we have a gap here, and the moving averages were lagging tremendously, so there is a potential, especially with the Bitcoin spot ETF sell in the news, for this thing to get cratered. So far, it has done that. The 50% FIB level did not hold. We did also rally today. It got rejected. S&P, new all-time highs. NASDAQ, all, new all-time highs. So, of course, even with Bitcoin week, Coinbase is going to rally a little bit. I'm hoping for this to uh, be another rollover. Uh, in the coming days, we do have the 618 down here at 115.33. That also correlate with this previous peak over here. In a Wyckoff terms, this would be a backup to the creek, which is an area that you should be interested in buying. If this takes a few days, maybe the start of next week, we'll see the 200 moving average will be also approaching up here for support. Do we ever get down to these gaps? The only way we get down to those gaps, I believe, is if Bitcoin does give us that hold your breath buy around 33,000, then I do think that people, Wall Street will panic and sell these crypto related stocks. And maybe that's how you can get some of these gaps filled. Let's see what's next here. Doge, I already did a separate video on. Check it out. Doge and Floki. Why I think Doge has potential to run and why I'm getting my exposure to Doge by owning Floki. That sounds a little confusing or a little weird. Watch the video on my Twitter th feed or on YouTube. INJ, this is one I got my eyes on. Been a very strong asset. We had consolidation up here. And uh, if Bitcoin dips, this is an asset I want to get involved in. The 50% FIB retracement level is just below $30. We've already seen a wick down there. And we might get some weakness. We're not oversold yet. We are trying to maintain this 300 moving average. So 50%. FIB is a good area to look at, but I would not rule out the $26.46 uh, mark at this 382 just because how strong INJ has been. There is plenty of area for it to back test, test before it gets to support levels, really all the way to $20. I don't know if we get that deep because it has been such a strong asset. 
Wyckoff wants to buy strong assets in strong sectors. INJ is one that has my interest. We're also in a pre-sale called Truflation. Um, I don't know what's all fully public there, but uh, INJ and Truflation will be working together, and I believe uh, that is good exposure for us, but I want to own the actual underlying, which is INJ. I also believe Cosmos is going to have a very good bull market, and I've, obviously INJ is built within the Cosmos ecosystem. That all wraps it up for me and why I'm looking for an entry. Trying to have some patience here, but we will be looking to add INJ to our portfolio. Mara, a crypto miner. I got a ton of flack for selling this thing at $224.77. We closed that out for something like 15% profits. Not huge profits. Profits are profits. I took a lot of flack. It is now down 35% from my sell. If you've been watching my videos, areas of interest, this mark, 50% Fib level and all the way down here to this mark. We have not given a buy publicly or privately Of course you would see the arrows on the chart. Where did we wick? We wicked right off the area of interest It's tough to buy down there because we thought Bitcoin was going to continue to sell off which it has But with stock market being so strong these things have seen a little bit of a relief rally You do have a potential for a bullish cross down here on the RSI But I do believe if Bitcoin continues lower or if the stocks now that they're a new all-time highs cool off a little bit Mara is going to give us another drop maybe forming a bullish divergence on top of this 300 or 200 moving average filling this gap here as well so i'd be somewhere around 13 14 bucks that's what we'll be looking for again that in that case we'd be buying this thing back cheaper 45 percent discount so whether or not we want to buy an extra 40 percent stock shares or if we just want to buy back the same number of shares bag those profits for other opportunities that's the decision we'll have to make when the time comes Micro strategy. Several profit trades here from Todd Butterfield. 25% gainer here. Bought it back on a major discount. Sold it higher. Bought it back cheaper. Sold it higher. We do have a gap all the way down here in the $400 range. Micro strategy is pulled back over 36% off the highs and is at support here at the 200 moving average. Now, if you're from pure Wyckoff schematics, you got the previous high here, you got a back up to the creek, and you have a 618 FIB level. This is a great opportunity with an R it's oversold RSI to get involved with uh, MicroStrategy. We also have a bullish divergence here on the 4-hour with price and RSI. This is kind of Taj trade, so I haven't been doing anything with it. We haven't bought anything officially yet, but uh, this thing is very close to a buy. Like I said, a lot of setups and a lot of reasons you would want to be a buyer in MicroStrategy, but there is a gap down here with risk down to $400. It wouldn't take much. Bitcoin drop into 36 37 maybe even $38,000. I think that MicroStrategy would fall close to this $400 mark, and we will be giving a buy over on patreon.com slash learn crypto. OP. An asset that we sold up here, sold up here at 342.9 with trailing stops. We had a trailing stop here. It didn't get hit. We ended up getting hit on a trailing stop up here. Profit stop and now price is down 13.33%. Sitting on critical support, you can see we the price is wicked here twice. We're also sitting on the 300 moving average. We do not have a, a bullish divergence, but we are oversold on the 4-hour RSI. This is one we probably will look to get back. Same number of tokens and bag all the profits for other opportunities. Again, I think that we could get a panic sell here if these levels give away, and that is an opportunity for us to buy maybe at the 618, around $2.75. Um, that would be interesting. Let's see what that is. That's another 8% lower here. So if you want to know what limit orders we're going to look, we do see that OP is very wicky. Maybe we put a uh, hold your breath limit somewhere down here and maybe try to catch a wick at lower levels, maybe closer to $2.50. Penn stock, the first one that doesn't have to do with crypto. It is a gambling stock, one that we waited a very long time. Look at the patience. Look at the patience. You really started following it here around $39, saying we were having patience. Didn't, cha didn't uh, chase the ESPN news, and we ended up buying here. Closed out for big profits, I think maybe 20% profits. Closed out again here for 18% profits, and now we are down 5% from that sell. Our measured move target off this formation, the breakdown measured move, is close to 2140 so this could be five waves down to get us filled down here. We got a wave one, a two, a three, a four, and now we got to make a five somewhere below 2231 and above 2140. Uh, that would be very interesting and very possible. We do see that we had minor oversold here, but a quick reset to neutral on this minor rally. That tells me maybe we do have a one, two, three, four, five, wave five down towards this 2140. Great buyback opportunity at that point. 
we would be somewhere around 13% lower than our second sell and 15% lower than our first sell. Great asset for the long run, in my opinion, and one we will want to take another position in and try to trade it on the way up. Upward price objectives, somewhere around $35. $35. Riot, Bitcoin miner, this one. Whew, made big gains, 53% gains, bought it back. 41% cheaper, sold it for profits, bought it back cheaper once again, sold it for profits. We did have a gap here that people thought I was crazy for saying that it would get filled. Well, what do you know? We got a head and shoulder, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, neckline, breakdown, measure move. Where'd the measure move go? Right to this gap. And now we have fallen below the measure move, below the gap. We came back up today. We got rejected at this gap. And I do believe we have potential for more downside. We do have a bullish cross here. So we need to see what Bitcoin does. We need to see what stocks do tomorrow as Riot has fallen all the way from grace. And this is another asset we will want to take another trade on. They are producing revenue. I think this next earnings will be positive based on um, in the price of Bitcoin based on the hype around ordinals and the transaction fees that miners were earning. So I think we will have another hype. Now beyond this one, the first earnings after having, a little iffy for me on Bitcoin miner stocks, just because the inflation rate of Bitcoin is obviously cut in half. So the revenue is going to be cut in half. The difficulty rate is going to be rising and they will be relying more on ordinals, BRC 20s and transaction taxes to help pay these miners and to keep them afloat. So I do like this for another quarter or two and then we'll probably rotate out of Bitcoin miners and focus more heavily on assets like Coinbase. Solana, I made a post. I made a post as a Solana fun over. This was the bullish uptrend line. It gave away 200 moving average, 300 moving average, and this uptrend line. It is oversold, but Solana could be in trouble here with downside risk to 75, potentially even back into the 60s. I would not, I would not be surprised. Let's just say that. They had their Solana hype. They had their mean coin hype. They had their Solana event hype. They had the Solana phone hype. And we do know FTX is liquidating all of their gptc there's no more gptc they sold like a billion dollars so any solana they still have i'm sure they'll be looking to liquidate and sell otc we'll see how that impacts um the reset here on solana still great performance on solana can't be disappointed in that and i think that's everything i wanted to cover in this video before it gets a little too long so stay tuned, Bitcoin sitting here, 39,600 at the lows. We still think it has lower objectives. I told you lower, I told you 50K in sell-off after the Bitcoin ETF. I told you lower here. I made another video here saying if it gives away the 300 moving average. I made another video literally at this peak at top right here, said it looking strong, but I think it is going to dump. And what do you know, here we are. Uh, we are getting very close to those buys. Patreon.com slash learn crypto. If you want to know, have 24-7 access to myself and Todd Butterfield, our exact trade ideas, our exact trade setups, we'll answer any of your questions. If not, get the free content on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. If you want daily updates on both crypto and stock technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news, we'll talk to you soon. Hang in there. Great opportunities on Bitcoin are brewing.